Hey guys, so I'm really excited to be working on my short game today and I've got a great tip that I'm going to tell you about. But I saw something while I was walking up to the chipping area that I wanted to bring to everybody's attention. Uh, when I was coming up here, you'll see that, you know, someone had a bucket of balls and they just chipped like 50, 60 balls up here. And if there's more than one person on the chipping facility, this makes it really, really difficult for another person to be able to chip. And when you see most pros, they usually have like, you know, five, six balls that they chip around. And, you know, they're not just machine gunning 50, 60 balls in a row. Each lie needs to be assessed and you need to play each shot like it counts. So it doesn't do you a lot of good to, you know, do a hundred golf balls or whatever. But what I'm going to talk to you about today is, is pretty awesome. It was taught to me by my friend Lee, who's a professional teacher down at the Professional Golfers Career College. Hi, I'm Lee Dietrich. I've uh, been teaching golf for about 30 years and uh, met Christo today up at Satakoy Country Club and I work at Professional Golfers Career College in Temecula, California. Now, everybody who watches my channel knows that I'm probably considered as an amateur to be a pretty competent ball striker, but my putting is sketchy and my chipping is worse. I would say that uh, easily my chipping and pitch shots are the worst part of my game, but I'm gonna show you something that makes it much, much simpler. A lot of you may know the legend of Paul Runyon. He was known as Little Poison. And this guy, you know, he wasn't a great ball striker. I've seen his golf swing, it's a little sketchy, but apparently the guy could get up and down from anywhere and he used to drive better ball strikers crazy. And what Lee was telling me was, you just need to use a one lever swing. Now Lee's very versed in the golfing machine and we know there's a lot of different ways to create leverage, you know, in your swing with all your different joints. Um, um, but this is just the simplest thing I've ever seen and I've always been very frustrated by my chipping because I hit the ball very inconsistently and I've used I've always thought that you try and use a miniature full swing and I've got you know when I'm trying to leverage a full swing you know I've got a lot of moving parts I'm moving my hips and my knees and my legs and shoulders and everything but what Lee told me was just hinge your elbow that's it just use your left shoulder as like the fulcrum point or, you know, the top of the lever and then just hinge your elbow back. And uh, this style of chipping has really, really helped me to start to make some progress. And, uh, you know, there's just less things that can go wrong. But uh, I, I think it's something that if you struggle with your short game, why don't you give it a shot? I think it can help. So there's a couple ways I play this uh, new chip shot. If I play the ball forward with an open club face and I can hit it higher and get it to check. And uh, then what I'll do is I will play the ball a little back in my stance and close the club face a little bit and I can get the ball to run. It's just a simple hinge and it works so well. I really encourage you to go check out myswingevolution.com and uh, that's where I have my video, The Hogan Code, uh, where I talk about my journey to learn to swing like Mr. Hogan and all the fruits and benefits that it brought to my life. So hit them long and hit them straight.